In this paper, we propose a convolutional autoencoder to address the problem of motion infilling for 3D human motion data. Given known sequences, here shown in gray, motion infilling aims at completing the gaps in between with plausible and natural transitions. To achieve this, we represent 3D joint positions over time as matrices where one column corresponds to a flattened pose vector at a given time step. The task of filling in the missing motion is then treated as an in-painting problem using a customized convolutional autoencoder. Here, we show the effectiveness of our model in creating transitions between a wide variety of motion types. Because our model is fully convolutional, we can fill in gaps of varying sizes using the same model. The results shown here are raw outputs of just a single model and no additional post-processing is applied. Our approach can also blend in partially known poses inside the gap. Here we introduce a partial pose in the middle of the gap, highlighted in orange, to retarget an existing walking motion. The model creates smooth transitions between the start and end sequence, while also respecting the known partial poses inside the gap. The same model is also trained to recover one or several joints missing over the entire duration of a clip. Here the joints highlighted in red have been removed from the input. Our method is able to plausibly recover the missing joints for a wide variety of motion types. Despite not being trained specifically for this task, our model is also robust to random disturbances in the input. Here we showed that our model can recover plausible motion from sequences perturbed with strong Gaussian noise. Similarly, randomly dropping 30% of joints per frame does not impact reconstruction. Here, we show results with varied gap sizes, while keeping the start and end sequences fixed. Gap sizes that are too small force unnatural transitions between clips, whereas gap sizes from 15 to 120 frames produce convincing looking results. However, gap sizes of more than twice the length of what was seen during training cause the predictions to converge to a mean pose. 